What up, peeps and peepettes? Morbtron back today with more Destiny 2. And today, we are getting back our Stormcaller ability on the Warlock. So a little bit of an update on the Warlock. I know the last couple episodes have kind of jumped around in the timeline. Um, the most recent one I recorded was the one after I hit level 20. Uh, the ones that popped up yesterday were, of course, a, a co-op and then unlocking Voidwalker. Um, so today we're unlocking Stormcaller. And I have completed the campaign, uh, which was epic. And I got the cold heart for doing that. I also have since upgraded my Graviton Lance to 223 using some legendary shards. It takes four shards to upgrade it. Um, for whatever reason, I, I, I have this light level 10 submachine gun with me, so I'm not sure why. I'm not going to delete it, though. I'll probably just put it in the bank. Um, I also got a new bad news, which is 224, which is nice. It's not my highest level uh, primary, though, or kinetic. This Nightshade Pulse Rifle I got for a quest, or no, not a quest, a milestone, um, is my highest kinetic. But I don't want a Pulse Rifle and a Pulse Rifle, so I'm using my Hand Cannon. Um, this only brings me up to 223 anyway, so it's not that big of a deal. Um, so, the Stormcaller comes from this relic, the Cracked Talisman. And you do the same thing you did to get Voidwalker. You just have to kill a bunch of stuff. Uh, except this time on um, Nessus. And so when that happened, I unlocked it. And yay, I'm back now in the European Dead Zone. To get Stormcaller back. And we're going to see how epic this quest is. Because the Voidwalker quest was amazing. So I can only imagine what the Stormcaller quest is going to be like. So we're in, we start in a different part of the European Dead Zone. And we're going to go unlock Stormcaller. But actually, one other thing I'm going to do. I got a couple ships as well from Bright Engrams. Um, also got that Warlock's Wisdom. Not sure where I got that from. Um, I got a couple more ships from Bright Engrams just from playing the game. I haven't bought any. Refused to buy any. I just don't want to. Plus, I just don't want to spend the money on it. But I've gotten a ship pretty much every time I've leveled up. Uh, my light, le not my light level, um, but kind of like how you would fill up this bar and get a mote of light in Destiny 1. Now you get a bright Engram in Destiny 2. Uh, I still only have the one good sparrow. I got this one for completing the storyline. Uh, it's just a all white, slow, slow one. So I'm not too amazed by it, but one thing I am amazed by is that, you know how this one looks with its coloration? Kind of has the Vanguard colors going on. Um, oh, I didn't notice that. This one is autoloader. Automatically reloads all your weapons when you board it. Interesting. Interesting. You can put shaders on the Sparrow. So, my favorite shader is Xeno Silver. So I actually put that shader on my ship as well. So we're going to put Xeno Silver on the Sparrow. There we go. That's my favorite shader thus far is Xeno Silver. I'm sure I'll come across other ones that are just as cool or cooler. But that one for right now is my favorite. But kind of neat how you can change the shader on your sparrow and your ship and your guns and, you know, everything now. You know, the other things you can't change the shader on for weapons are exotics and those you get ornaments for. So, that's cool. I haven't gotten an ornament yet from a Bright Engram, but that's where you get those as well. I see you haven't changed much, Portal. Still huge and scary. Throwing back through the Void Portal. You ready for weird story time? I'm ready for weird story time. <laughs> As a warlock, you are the unleashed. This is Ikora. 
You are power unleashed. Focus. The Ark is inside all life. Feel it take hold. Let it flow through, but not consume you. That's the line from Destiny 1. When you unlock Stormcaller there. They reuse it in kind of an interesting way. You are a conduit between sky and earth, electricity and matter, life and death. You are a weapon. You must have harmony within to be a hurricane without. It's another line from Destiny 1, same mission from unlocking Stormcaller. Yours will be a difficult path, jagged, like lightning itself. It is only the few who have the power to call down the storm. I've not often seen this talent from one so young. I always knew that you were different from the others, but I never understood my unease. I'm afraid there is little left I can teach you. I don't think that line is from Destiny 1. Hey, we've got company. Oh, taken. So you kind of see how much this uh, exotic rifle kicks on that third bullet, but it does a lot more damage. You see there how it did 323, the other ones only did, you know, 48. Plus it causes the uh, targets to explode on death. It's very cool. Very unique exotic. Creepy story time. Over there, another projection. Quiet, said the Void Walkers. Louder, said the Sun Singers. I tried to heed them both. When I felt anger, I smothered it with shame. When I felt peaceful, I drowned it in guilt, and in so doing, disappointed everyone. Then came the hurricane. First the rage, and then the eye. And I realized I need not choose between the calm and the storm. Indeed, to have either, I must be both. Interesting. Deep breath. Exhale. Faintest breeze. In. A spark on the wind. Inhale. Hold it. The air inside you is still quiet. A positive charge. A cloudless sky. Now, exhale all at once. Ah, a peal of thunder. Electric potential. A charge in the air. Breathe in deep. Ozone burns your lungs. Hold it. With your next exhale comes the lightning. Hold it. Hold it. Now. Okay. I close my eyes and open my mouth. A breath. A storm. A song. I blow a kiss for good luck on my arc boat grenade and launch it at my foes. I launch a thunder strike and rain destruction from a distance. I call down a storm trance and sing my body electric. Second verse. Perrin, then shadow clad, behind the shield, 
Through cleansing fire are hiding foes revealed. Interesting yet again. Not sure who that warlock was though. There's the shard. Wait, did you hear that? Taken, inbound. Oh no, not taken. my grenade go? Where did the captain go? I'm really not a fan of these captains. They are really, really annoying. Nothing but face. Have a little light left to give. All right, here we go. Let's see if this is going to look the same. Yep. Still kind of cool though. So, and I also have uh, new exotic legs too. I want to bring up as well when I get back out. Let's show the taken what you've learned. Here we go. Rare achievement unlocked. Hello, taken. Oh, no blink. I've heard people saying that it lasts longer than it did in Destiny 1. This the Storm Trance. It must be with some of the uh, talents, I'll call them. Because so far this seems to last just as long as it did, if not a little bit shorter. So before we go through this portal, I want to show this exotic off. They're the Lunification Boots. Um, my Rifts gain the additional ability to automatically re reload allies' weapons. And that includes me. Um, so I'll put it down here. Oh, it's not charged. It was charged. And... Bam. So I'm going to step outside. Run through. It even does it with power weapons. So, kind of cool. If you can, like, dance in and out of it in a boss fight, I think it'd be really, really amazing. You know, if you don't have to reload, your team doesn't have to reload. Your whole If your whole raid team does not have to reload for a few seconds, but they just dance in and out of your circle, that would be rift, that's going to be a huge DPS boost. It's massive. There we go, we got an upgraded helmet. I'm gonna blow up this helmet as well because I don't need it. Let's see. I cannot upgrade anything yet, so I'll have to do that after the mission. These missions are always really fun. Oh, ho, ho. Am 
Eh, there's still enemies somewhere. Oh, that's the edge of the map, though. Don't want to go over there. Scrubs. <laughs> oh, Palpatine hands for the win. I didn't think I would miss this spec, or this uh, subclass, but I kind of did. The sheer potential for destruction that this this uh, subclass has is just amazing. There's one more taken somewhere. Probably one little guy. That's more than one. Take it. Get anything to stop us from leaving. Light. All right, scrub lords, let's go. Doesn't do great boss damage, but that's perfectly fine. The amount of damage that it does do to adds is just Nicely amazing. Done. So let's get out of here. I'm ready for a change of scene. Bam. So yeah, another good quest. They reused a couple of the storyline quotes from Destiny 1, but the rest of them were unique, and I think it's pretty well put together. You know, it's kind of similar to the, the Voidwalker quest line. As you know, you kill Taken, and you go through the portals. I don't know why the Traveler keeps choosing to grant us its powers. There must be others like us out there, fighting for what's right. All right, there we go. The mission's done, so I'll go back out into orbit now, and then I can kind of show you guys what uh, the subclass itself actually looks like. I haven't done any research, so it's going to be news to me as well. So let's take a look here and see what we got. We've got the pulse grenade, and we got storm grenade, so that's kind of cool that we got storm grenade again. I've heard pulse grenade is really, really good. I'm not going to go with Empowering Rift. I don't really like Empowering Rift. Go with Balanced, Glide. Alright, let's take a look at both of these subclasses here. So we've got Rising Storm. This electrocuting melee ability hits an extended range and recharges my Super Grenade and Melee. That's pretty cool. Landfall. Assuming it's the same thing as D1. On casting Storm Trance, fire a bolt of lightning under the ground, creating a devastating shockwave under you. Yep, that's the same. Your rift charges faster when allies are near. That's really good, actually. Uh, Arc Soul, your rift now grants your ally, you or any ally that uses it, an Arc Soul to aid in battle. I actually had one of the uh, Warlock with me on a strike, a random, um, that had this. It's like a ball of, of light that just hangs out near you, kind of like a familiar um, from games past. I can't remember now. Um, and it just shoots little 
arc projectiles, basically. So it's kind of cool. It's like free damage for just standing in a rift for a couple seconds. Uh, chain lightning. This electrocuting melee ability hits at an extended range and chains lightning from a struck target to nearby enemies. Okay. When cast with a full grenade and melee energy storm trance lasts longer and fully restores health. That's kind of like trans. That's exactly like transcendence from Destiny One. Arc web enemies damaged by your grenade chain deadly lightning to your enemies. That's from D One as well. Now we got ionic blink. So this one's probably going to be a good one for PvP because of the ionic blink. Um, but the chain lightning and the arc web. You know, there are a lot of team fights nowadays, so that might actually not be all that terrible. Um, Transcendence is going to be pretty hard to use in PvP, but oh well. If you can line it up, make Storm Trans last longer, might work for you. Um, but this is this is uh, the one I'm going to go with for right now. I have the upgrade points to unlock everything, but this is just what I'm going to play with for right now. See how it is. There you go. Storms Surge. Got a new emblem. But, guys, that is going to be it for this episode. Ooh, another upgrade. Uh, so, if you liked it, please leave a like. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. If you have anything to say, do it in the comment section down below. Do not forget to have a good day, everybody. And I'll catch you all next time. Thank you.